Hi, it's Ventbot. I'm here to show you how to equip a costume when entering a trigger zone. So first I'm going to look at my watch. And normally your watch would start here. I'll click on Backpack and then Use under Maker Pen. Your Maker Pen will spawn in front of you. Just grab it. And if I look at my Maker Pen menu, I can click Create and Open Palette. The first thing we want to do is spawn in the costume we want to use. So I'm going to click on Inventions, and then I already have the costume here. It's an astronaut costume. If you're not sure how to get it, watch my other video that shows you how to purchase a costume from the store. Close my palette, and then if I look at my Maker Pen, I'm going to set, make sure it's set to Grid, and then spawn in the costume. And I'm going to click Rotate, and click on the green arrow. I'm sorry, the green line, and move it where I want it to go. Then I'm going to click Move and move the astronaut down a little bit and over some. Okay, so this is a costume I want to equip when entering a trigger zone. So first I'm going to open up my Maker Pen to get the trigger zone. Click Create, open my palette, and I want to go to the Gadgets tab. CV2 gadgets. And if I hit the arrow key over, you'll see trigger volume V2. If I click that, close my palette, and I can pretty much click anywhere and open up my trigger volume to create it. Now I'm going to click manipulate on my maker pen and just make it a little bit bigger right about there. Now, uh, since I have my Maker Pen out and I'm in VR, I can go in here, grab a hold of this, and bring it out here. I like things to be nice and neat. You can also do it using your Maker Pen, but it's easier to do it with your hand. Okay, now I need to wire it. I'm going to look at my Maker Pen and choose Wire. So the trigger volume has a player entered, executable. I move my mouse over, to, or my maker pen over that tells me, and then a player output. So I'm going to tie this player entered into the equip to, because that's telling it when to execute it. Now it needs to know who to execute, who to equip it to. So I'm going to choose player under the player entered, and wire it to the player under the equip to option. Now, if I want to unequip it after the player leaves the trigger volume, I can say player exited, the execute option, and tie it to the unequip execute option. So you'll see equip to goes to player entered, player goes to player under player entered, and unequip goes under player exited. So when I step into this trigger volume, I'm going to equip the suit, and when I step out of it, I'm going to unequip it. So let's take a look. I'm going to drop my Maker Pen, walk into the trigger volume. I have the suit on. Pretty cool. Now when I walk out of the trigger volume, the suit goes off. Very simple. And if you want to, you can always look at your Maker Pen, click Create, click on Shapes, and then choose like maybe a cube with the material wood grain. That's one of my favorites. Colors, and I'm going to choose gray. And set my snapping to surface. And I'm just going to create like maybe a door so I know where the trigger volume is. So if I look at my Maker Pen, I can click Manipulate. Click on that block I just made, and move it there, and if I look at it again, I can click Clone, and move it to this side. So now I know <clears throat> when I step through the this, I'll equip the suit. 
Let me go over to the other side. Okay, I don't have the suit on. I'm going to walk through this. I've got the suit on. Keep walking. The suit's off. Or costume. Okay, that concludes our tutorial for today. If you enjoyed it, please click like and subscribe to the videos. That would help me out greatly. Uh, if you have some ideas of stuff you want covered, just comment and mark it in the comments below. Okay, thanks everybody. Have a great day.